up early, get the chores done. Rocky, how's the pigs doing, buddy? Good. They're doing good. What did you say they like? You like that avocado from last night? It'd be so nice being able to give our food scraps to the pigs. And it is freezing this morning. It's cold again. So a cold front must have came in last night. Got a pretty slow day today. Nothing crazy. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, so we're celebrating it today as a family. And me and Marilyn are going to go do something tomorrow. So we're going to just celebrate that, hang out at the house. But the main thing we're going to do is we're cooking some of our chickens that we made or that we uh, raised last year. We're almost out of them, so we only have a few more left. So I'm going to smoke two chickens today. Hi, baby girl. Look, it's a Valentine's present from Isaiah and Rocky. They picked this out especially for you, mama. Hey, Rocky, hey, Zay, here. Oh, here, let me go flip my pancake. Okay. We gotta cut the, we gotta get the red thing off. Yeah, they. Oh, this, this, this is the red thing. Okay, you gonna cut it? All right, you ready? All right. What is it? <laughs> Nope, nope, nope. Oh, it, it's a popper! It's a popper! For you! Just for you, Zipper Lou. Look at that. It's your very own. Look at that. <laughs> Are you so excited? Your brother, she got that for you. <gasps> Yummy. Oh, does that taste good? Oh, yeah. Hey, Isaiah. Isaiah, what'd you think about Valentine's Day, buddy? So Rocky, what did you think about Valentine's Day? Okay, was it good, buddy? It was really good. I lost a tooth today. You lost a tooth today. That's right. Hey, I know. Here, let's get. Let's see it. Let's see it. Look at that, man. You lost it, dude. Hey, so, what do you think about? Um, so my dad was trying to get it out, and 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 then and then literally um and 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 then and then the and then the gloss came out, and then I'm like, that's a that's like a giant knot, and then my dad's like, that's the tooth, and, and then we're like, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna smoke the chicken. While the chicken's smoking, we're gonna get some chores done. And that's one thing I like about smoking chicken is there's a lot of downtime there. So you have time to do different things like move other animals. I, I can do a lot. While I'm waiting on that temperature to come up, I am going to do some repairs to the chicken tractor that now has the pigs in it. Uh, if you didn't see that, I posted a video a few days ago about uh, the fiasco with the new pig fence that I did that did not work. So we have them in the chicken tractor and I got to do a few, uh, I'm going to add some locks, some better locks to it just so they don't push out when they get a little bit bigger. Hey, I'm smacking. All right, Rock, we got it done? All right, let's see you do it. Here, you ready? Open it and shut it. All right, smooth as butter. All right, let's try the bottom one. Push the bottom and put it, push it in. There you go. Smooth, smooth. Do it one more time for me. So that should work, didn't take too long. We got one new one on the top and one on the bottom. That should keep them in. Right. These are the first chickens that we raised last year, the first batch and we butchered these in May of last year and they were on the bottom of the freezer, we're almost out. The way I like to smoke chickens is called spatchcock, which means you just cut the backbone out and then flatten, open the bird up and flatten it down. And to me it seems to cook really, really even and we keep the backbone and then we put it in when we do the, when we do the bone broth. I like to season these guys about 30 to 45 minutes before we throw them on the smoker 
and what I'll do is just season them really, really good inside and out and then just let them sit for about 30 to 45 minutes before we drop them on the smoker and then put them on and they'll be on there for around two hours. You want to try some fresh off the grill? Oh, yeah. Look, I got that piece right there ready for you. See what you think. That's good. Is it that good? Is so good? Yeah, it's good. That's a salt and pepper one. I'm gonna try the other one. Let's see. Mmm. Try this one. Mmm. A little spicy. A little spicy. That's the hot honey hog. Oh, hot honey, hot, I love it. Do what? Oh, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. So I've been a hunter since before I can even remember, and it's always been really, really cool to be able to provide our own meat. And the older I've gotten, uh, and the more health conscious I've become, the, the more it means to me. To, to know where my meat came from, what was put in it, how it was treated, and so now, being able to raise our own meat on our homestead has been really, really cool. And these were the first, the first things we raised on the homestead, these Cornish Cross meat chickens. And it was a ton of fun. I can't wait to start it again this year. There's a lot of satisfaction that comes from being able to raise our own meat, and especially when the freezer was completely full with all these chickens. And it just felt good. There's a, there's a sense of security there, and it's, it's a good thing. And, and then the, going through the whole process with our kids, it was it was really cool. I'm glad they've been able to see, you know, the chicks go the chickens go from a chick to uh, the dinner plate. I, I think that's a great lesson to learn at a young age and just see what it takes to actually live. It's been really awesome being able to fill our freezer with meat that came from our land. It's been a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to doing it again this year.